what is it that you guys are against and what is it that you're protesting? Uh, we are against Doug Ford and all the cuts that he's making to education. And are there any cuts in particular that you don't like? Sex uh, education. Education. The sex education. The sex education and the arts. And okay. definitely the arts. Yeah, and what good. is yeah. it about what he's doing with the sexual education that you don't like? He's not. The people who he's going to, he's trying to teach them at like a 90s curriculum. Literally but from the 90s, from going back in time is never a good thing. It's Science has progressed so fast yeah, since then, and we're and he wants to go back. Yeah, what, what's that going to do so much? E-learning isn't for everyone. Did you make the sign? No, I just haven't. Um, are you are you protesting or are you just kind of hanging out? Okay, <laughs> understandable. Do you know what you're protesting? Okay, fair enough. Are you here just to skip class? I I'm here on part of coordination, and I'm just out here rocking the boards. A buck of beer! <laughs> okay, very cool, very cool. So you are against what everybody else is protesting? Yeah, I've, I've been told that it's a peaceful protest. But uh, they said I had to leave or else I was going to get shot. Yeah. Okay, very cool, very cool. I don't, very nice. I don't even think half the people know why they're out. Okay, well that's what we're trying to figure out. Nobody yeah. even know what the is. Yeah. What is it we say? We've here! Uh, the Ontario here. Students uh, Assistance Program. Um, and the what is the 90s curriculum? Uh, it has nothing about um, different... Um, Sexual, like, it has nothing about the LGBT. It has nothing about. It has nothing about. So, so his curriculum doesn't have anything to do with trans people. Exactly. No. Nothing, no. nothing to do with trans people. It has nothing to do with anyone else, or, or LGBT. even uh, just outside of the LGBT community entirely. It has nothing to do. It has no details. It has nothing about. It, okay, it has nothing. It has very, 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 very little to do with like yeah. Yeah. and with like contraception yeah. methods. Yeah. And you can yeah. die yeah. from these yeah. things. Like, yeah. like yeah. it is yeah. to be educated on that because like. So many people have died because of that, so like why wouldn't we just try to help people and teach people like the information that we already know, so why would we take it away? Protesting? I'm protesting against uh, taxation. I'm protesting uh, for private, private education. Like so, Maxine Bernier wants in Pasadena. Like so you're you're against what everybody else is protesting? Uh, partly. Yeah. Yeah. Is it for everyone? And what is your point? One to twenty-eight ratio, less arts, tech, and specialized courses. And what does the one to twenty-eight ratio? Mean? So there's going to be more students and fewer teachers? Yes. Yeah, the other big issue with it is courses that have under 28 students aren't going to have enough students to run. So things like arts, music, tech, and other specialized courses oh, are going to be canceled. Uh, we, want we, want we want change. change. <laughs> okay, okay. More rights to education, what does that mean to you? Well, if they're going to take rights away from students with disabilities, that's not right. Like, everyone is, has a right to Exactly. And what rights have they taken away from disabled children? All the rights that they have. Literally, if a kid has any disability, they can't. They don't get the extra help they need for it. They don't have the teachers to help them. Nobody gets the support the, the teachers that we need for the students that have disabilities. Here for the protest? Nope. What, are you just out here to skip class? Yep. Okay. Are, are you out here for the protest? Yeah. Okay. okay, then maybe... I just came out here to vape, but... At least over there, I don't want to get myself into shit again. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, officer, and that officer doesn't like me very well. Do you, you know that officer? Yes, sadly. Okay. I don't really skip the shit in the past. Uh, we want uh, our education to be funded properly. And is Doug Ford taking away the funds for education? For a lot of things around education, like extracurriculars and education for disabled people and all kinds of things. Like, both my brothers are disabled. the biggest takeaway to be from all of this? I just want everyone to know, I just basically all I want is for everyone to just be able to just like, not be free I guess, but for example going back to like taking away PSL and stuff like that, I want everybody to be, feel comfortable in the community and take the things like that might not make someone feel comfortable, just like making our classes and stuff and take, making us all do it online, some people just can't function online, I can't personally do it myself, so yeah, sure. I just want everyone to just be able to learn Learn in the environment that yeah. best suits them. Exactly. Yeah. And what about you? What are you? Um, I totally agree. My brother uh, is 
in a special ed class and if they cut the funding for that, then he won't be able to have the special uh, education that he needs for his uh, disabilities. It's an off-topic question. Is that a Yeezus hoodie? Yeah. Are you a Kanye fan? Yeah. You're not a Kanye fan. Okay. okay, fair yeah. enough. Okay, thank you for your time. Why, why are you out here? What are you protesting? For every single rights, not even for just student rights, for teachers' rights, because they can't say anything, they can't leave, like, the school to come protest because they'll lose their job. And what would you say your biggest concern is with Ford's new plan? Um, taking away, like, ESL, the funds for the people you know, with, like, mental problems who can't get separate classes to move at their rate. Um, just, like, teachers losing their jobs because there's a lot of teachers who put hard work into this school and other teachers at other schools who put hard work into other, like, schools who are going to lose their job for, like, no reason. Maybe the biggest uh, problem that I have with this would be that they're firing thousands of teachers in the province and that would increase class sizes and make things a lot more harder for people that need that special help from teachers to learn. And I think that if we do that, our averages are going to go down and it's going to be harder for some people to graduate. And how do you feel the protest is going so far? It's going great. Yeah. Everyone's into it. I wish there was more people out here. But... Uh, you're holding a sign that says Ford Nation. And why, Ford Nation, why baby! Why are you holding a sign that says Ford Nation? Because I agree with different things he's actually he's putting through with the different um, on what they're protesting for right now and so I also agree with the changes in the sex ed curriculum and um, I think that actually adding people to classes uh, like makes the, the makes the classes better <laughs> this is such a bad idea. what is it that you're protesting today? we're fighting for our students rights okay and what what is it that you feel has been taken away from the students? Our rights, literally. Like I think everything that we've fought so hard to do, to do classes already, schools already hard enough, and they're just making it harder. And I'm just fighting for that. I think it's a good idea. I think it's needed. Doug Ford needs to hear us. He's not listening to any of our voices or 